Hello there guys, how's it going? Come out tonight to spend the night at my moss covered survival shelter, A-frame, whatever you want to call it. If you uh, missed my last um, video of cooking a breakfast on a rock, it should be, I've, I've not actually published it yet, um, you'd have seen I've extended this. So by, I don't know, foot two feet maybe, two feet out. So it's coming out a bit further along the ridge pole here. Uh, for a bit more coverage and that's because uh, I came here after all the heavy rain I could see how much it had got inside the shelter at the front here uh, I don't think we're getting rain tonight though it has been raining up here uh, last night I think and it wasn't supposed to so who knows who knows we shall see be an adventure <laughs> but yeah just gonna do a little work around camp it's uh, mid-afternoon and it being winter it's not too much daylight so a few jobs to do uh, prep to do for this evening Got a spit to make for cooking, um, rearrange the fireplace a bit here. <laughs> yeah, a few bits and bobs to get on with. There's some forestry work that's been going on in this woodland near, near my camp. So I'm gonna go check it out because I need a piece of green wood uh, for my spit tonight. So. Uh, there should be some bits there and that saves uh, cutting any live trees or anything, any limbs off any trees, which uh, it's always beneficial if you can avoid doing something like that, especially in a country like this with uh, such small woodlands. Well, these are the elements I need for my spit for tonight, all the green wood. So I'm just going to put that aside, separate from all my firewood, which I'm going to need quite a bit more of because it's going to be a very cold night. It's been a nice uh, sunny day, which has been cold in itself, so no cloud means very cold, very frosty. the sun going down rapidly.
nothing but aeroplanes today. Right, so got some bits and bobs together. Uh, something flat, that's fairly flat. Where can that go? Yeah, that'll probably do. Bring over my first stage Kindle in there. Got some second stage here next to me. Uh, got some chopped down wood. It's um, been very wet lately. If you're in the UK, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I've picked up some birch bark, and oh, that's the uh, fat wood I've just scraped up. I'm liking the fat wood lately. It's been a bit of a favourite. Just so good in wet conditions. A bit easier than birch bark can be. Not that birch bark isn't great. Right, so we've got a fatwood shaving, some birch bark, some fatwood matchsticks chopped down, our kindling. Should be good. It's quite wet, so I wanted to be sure. So let's uh, try and get this going. <laughs> Let that fat wood catch for a second. That's going to give us lots of time to get our fuel on. quite gently there and using the uh, fireplace as a bit of a brace so I don't smother it. Some slightly bigger stuff there, second stage kindling. It's a little damp. But that fat wood should give us time and this is what we've chopped down. So it should be nice and dry in the middle. And I'm just going to put a couple of bigger bits on. Because I think some wet bark there. I think we're looking pretty good. Good. <laughs> Needed this. Be good to get it established before it's proper dark as well because, uh, yeah, everything being so wet, that's why there's so much smoke when it first went up, all the bark, which I could have taken off, but that second stage kindling was pretty wet too. We're going now, smoke's died down. And that's going to be nice, got some nice uh, base to that fire, should go down to nice coals. Sun's just going down past the uh, horizon We're on a hill so a little bit before it's proper down so a little bit of time for more firewood etc I know there's a lot of firewood prep in these videos but that's kind of what camping is <laughs> maintaining a fire in the winter at least
just getting the bark off this, which will be my spit, and uh, then I'll make the supports for it. And I think I'm going to do this one the same style as I did my last spit, which was to square off an end and uh, make a little socket for it on the support. Stops it from uh, spinning if the weight's a bit off. Well I've got my bits together, the spit itself, the wild V branch to uh, go in, that's already been uh, tapered off, and this one's going to have the notch just uh, sawn carved into it that this is going to uh, sit in. Okay, so here we've got the mechanism for the spit. This is the post. Here we've got the square on the spit. It'll just sit in there and you can rotate it 90 degrees to get a full rotation without it kind of slipping all the time in a Y branch. Because it's secure this side, the other side is fine to be a Y branch. Don't need this both sides. I did do that last time, but it's not really necessary. Right, and now you can see, just need to lift, twist, drop it back down. Nice. Right, just have to put the chicken on now. Okay, so with clean hands, I am going to put the spit through the chicken, and you'll be able to see I've put a slit in it which is wedged open, which uh, I'm going to put something through, you'll see momentarily. And this is the piece that's going to go through and hopefully it will. Quite hard to get on camera. Ooh. Okay, I can feel that that is holding in place. So, yep, there's going to be no slipping of the uh, chicken. You can do it with the legs and the wings as well around it, using the same kind of technique, but it's only a small bird, I think that's going to be fine. So with my clean fingers, I'm going to just oil the bird up a bit. and pre-mixed some spices so might as well dump some of that on. It's just some paprika, chilli, cumin, salt, pepper, uh, you know the deal. Let's save a little bit of this because I'm going to make a bannock too. Yeah, she's a good one. Okay, here we go. There we go, nothing shifting, bird or the spit.
bit. May have to come down a bit at some point, we'll see. Get this fire stoked up. I may as well do it with that. <laughs> Right, I feel a bit like I need to uh, deal with these wings, so I think in order to do that I just need to rotate it and I need to come in through there, through under the backbone and then through this wing which is already quite warm. There we go. So that should stop them flapping around. The drumsticks have got the um, butcher's um, string round, so they're fine. Yeah, it's already starting to pick up a little bit of colour. Probably wasn't the best angle for that, so I'll just show you. This uh, spit is working perfectly. You got there. There, there, and there. Wonderful. Cup of tea with some MRE sugar. Got some uh, bannock mix here that I pre prepared at home. Just want to add in some onion to it, which I should have cut up before I put the bannock mix in the uh, plate. <laughs> Never mind. And some garlic here as well. I'll just do the same with that and just slice it inside here. Little seasoning and spices. Some oil. And if we make a bit of a well, we can add in some water. A bit at a time. I'm just going to start it off with the spoon here as it's in my hand. Don't want to overwork it, it's not like um, not like normal bread. Right, it's pretty ready to go on a uh, hot stone. As this bannock's a bit on the uh, sticky side, I've just put a little oil on the rock there, so we'll see how that goes. We shall see. Mr. Chicken's doing quite well here.
Well, I'm reluctant to film this because I took my eye off the ball for a minute. See how the uh, bannock's puffed up, so it looks good. Oh, surprisingly not bad at all. <laughs> that should be quite nice. It's good that it's going quite slowly because uh, it's quite moist so it needs to uh, get rid of some of that liquid. Well it's a lovely evening. Just sitting, watching the fire, salivating over the chicken, watching it cook. It's been going for quite some time now. A couple of hours I think. It's a nice slow cook. It's a good height for it on the uh, spit there. Um, Bannock's pretty much done so yeah. I'm looking forward to some food. <laughs> Just having a lay down for a minute. When you're uh, at camp and you don't have like a like a camp chair, anything with back support, it can make your back ache a bit, especially when you're bent over the fire and everything all the time. It's nice to just lay down for a minute on a flat surface, <laughs> just straighten the old spine out. But yeah, it's uh, it's a nice evening. Unfortunately, I can hear the road a little bit, a couple of miles that way, and um, now that it's winter, the uh, Leaves have all come down, so you can hear it a little bit. The microphone seems to pick it up more than you can hear it being here. But, uh, yeah, so that's a shame, but, you know, it's a bit of dirt time. It's good to be out. Time for this bannock to come off. It's looking pretty perfect, to be honest. I'll take the whole rock off. I've only got the one plate. The bird is looking to be... Pretty much done to me. Give it a couple more minutes on that side, and then take her off for carving. Well, here we go. Just need to take out these pins. There's one, there's two, and pull out the spit. It's a fine looking bird. I seem to have forgotten my camp kitchen knife today. So we'll uh, break the bannock. You can see that's looking lovely. Ooh, that's nice and warm. Give that a go. Without a doubt, one of the best bannocks I've made. There's a surprise. All these are some onion, garlic, and a few spices. A bit of salt. There's a really good bannock. I always do this, but I'll put the uh, recipe in the description below for a, the plain bannock and you can add whatever you want to it. Right, I suppose this main event time, isn't it? Whoa! There's some juice. I think I should go with slices really because I can't take it off of here. Oh, that is juicy. That's so juicy. That is gorgeous, and I am going to have a wing. I'll pull it off. <laughs> chicken wing. I'll tell you what, that chicken's picked up some real smoke flavour. Slow cooking it like that. This is my very last oh boy hot chocolate from my Sweden trip. I'm sure Simon's got plenty left, <laughs> the amount he bought, but this is my last one. To be honest, I don't prefer it to any other hot chocolate. <laughs> Just sentimental value, I guess. Yeah, nice hot chocolate before bed. Thank you.
Good morning guys. It's uh, not as cold as I thought it'd be. Not really much in the way of frost. The only uh, fog is down in the valley really. So I had to go to the edge of the woodland to have a look at that. But yeah, I thought it was going to be a bit more dramatic this morning. Quite a nice sunrise though. Just got the fire going here with um, one of them emergency match things. Uh, left over from a review I did of them back in the early days of the channel. Yeah, get this going and uh, get some breakfast on. I'll give you another look at the spit here as well because it was quite dark so I don't know how well that came out last night. Hopefully you can see that through the smoke. It turns extremely easily and of course it's, it's free on this side and you can probably make out hole in the peg. It's a good method. I do like it. Got this dog bowl from one tigress when they sent the smoky hut tent. It's a velcroed and poppered shut so it goes quite small and hangs off a carabiner off your pack and I just use it in the same way as using the other one for a Putting pocket junk in when I'm in a shelter or a tent. Just a little organizer, EDC organizer, I guess you could call it. But yeah, just a new one, a little bit more compact than the other one, and uh, the fact it's got the loops on it just uh, hooks on. One Tigers do a lot of um, dog related products. This is the only one that really <laughs> related to me. Yeah, good little thing. It's tiny compared to my other one. And of course, you can use it as a water bowl, washing up whatever you want to do in camp. Or as a dog bowl. <laughs> right, let's see how hot this rock is. Quite up to temperature yet. Okay, they're starting to get its sizzle sazzle on. As you can probably tell, this is my uh, pancake batter mix. So I'm going to shove an egg in there. milk and as I usually do just mix that up in the bag to the right consistency Time to get that bacon off. Anyway, I'll lay the bacon in this. I reckon this one's going to be quite hard to flip. <laughs> oh, it's hot. That wasn't too bad actually. <laughs> right, let's have a little look. Oh, that looks pretty good to me. It's time for that drizzle. Oh, yes. Do love campfire pancakes.
pretty fluffy. Right, that's me done. Another camp in the bag. Uh, nice one. Been a nice, uh, nice morning. I was expecting more mist and fog. That would have been nice, but never mind. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, this is probably going to be the last camp here. So a uh, little bit of a teaser for the next video. There, I'll um, see you on the next one. Goodbye for now. <laughs>